Dallas Keller saved by Grubauer. Grubauer maintains control. What a stop! Grubauer comes up big. going to be money for the Kraken, we are pretty sure of that. Seattle Kraken at Nashville tonight here on Root Sports. Let's have a look at your goalie matchups coming into this one at Bridgestone Arena. Philip Grubauer and Yusei Saros, another hot prospect. Grubauer slightly with the edge in goals against average and shutouts. Uh, Saros taking over from the much vaunted Pekka Rinna, who was a bit of a legend for the Predators in the past decade or so. For more on that, let's bring Alison Lucan back in. UC Saros, the first 82 game season in place of the legend Pekka Rin, as we say, we say there. So pretty big shoes to fill, Alison. You're right, Ross, and it's these two are both Finns. UC Saros grew up idolizing Pekka Rin. I even lived with him for a couple years when he came to Nashville. But he, even though he's a smaller goaltender, so he might look a little smaller in net, this is a guy who literally saved Nashville's season last year. They were thinking of trading away players. They thought they were out of the hunt to get to the postseason. He comes in, and after a brief loss of games to injury, was just at the top of his game. We talked about high danger chances earlier. This is a goaltender who, if you look at who stops those high danger chances, at the top of the ranks of the league, it's UC Saros. He's earned his starting role. Pekka Rene has retired, as you said, Ross. And now this is going to be his net to own. This organization is really excited about him. They've signed him to a deal to keep him in net. A strong test for Seattle tonight. All right, let's dial in a little bit more on uh, Philip Grubauer. And Nick, what were your takeaways from Philip's performance? in game one against Vegas. Yeah, I love the effort. 30 shots on nut, gave up four goals. I mean, still trying to figure out his teammates a little bit, but this is a guy who wants to be the guy. He's a Stanley Cup champion from Washington, but now he has a chance to be the guy. He was the guy in Colorado. He's a star here. I like everything I'm seeing from him. All right, buddy, we appreciate that. Let's get you to country, a music city, USA, Nashville, Tennessee. Hockey the Kraken against the Predators as we send it to the Brooks and Dunn of Root Sports. John Forslund and JT Brown. What a moment it was for all of the Pacific Northwest Tuesday night. Kraken Nation descended on Sin City to watch the NHL's two youngest do battle in a game that played out more like a battle of two heavyweights. The Kraken were knocked down early, but rose from the depths to fight back late in a memorable first franchise game. Now it's on the Smashville, where the Kraken seek to spoil the Preds' opening night and leave with their first franchise win. A moment, three plus years in the making. Kraken Hockey is presented by Indeed. If you need to hire, you need Indeed. And we always need vibrancy, right? In everybody's life. That's what you have in Music City. Opening night for the Nashville Predators and maybe history tonight for the Seattle Kraken inside the walls of Bridgestone Arena. John Forsland, JT Brown, along with our great crew, Dave Hackstall saw some very good building blocks, JT, in Las Vegas on Tuesday night. Yeah, they, they came back in this game. They were down. They showed resiliency. They stuck to his system. They didn't cheat the game. And those are good positive signs for this team moving forward. 
John Hines on the other side, third ever coach in the history of the Nashville Predators. His team finished fourth in their division a season ago, lost in the first round to Carolina. You're looking at Ian Walsh, one of our two referees tonight, along with Pierre Lambert. C.J. Murray, this is his first ever game in the NHL's a linesman, Libor Sutanek, will work the other line here tonight. So, second game in franchise history for the Seattle Kraken. It will be Alex Wenberg on the draw, posed by Nashville's Ryan Johansson. Sit back and enjoy the Seattle Kraken on Root Sports off the faceoff. Alexander Carrier gets to it, and he'll clear it all the way back in the Kraken zone. Jonas Donskoy in control. Moved across for Jamie Oleksiak, the big rig at 6-7 through center. Clears it in, a handle for UC Soros. He'll play it to the wall. What a season Soros had a season ago, and his best at this level. Puck was batted down with a high stick. The faceoff will come outside the blue line as we stop play early. One thing I'm looking for Seattle to do is weather the storm this first few shifts for each line. We saw last game in Vegas that Seattle had the jump. You got to look for Nashville to have the jump. They're playing in front of their home crowd, their first opening game of the season. The circumstances were very unusual for Seattle on night number one because of the COVID protocol. Three players joining the lineup very late. Tonight, hopefully a different result. Carson Soucy, who did not play on Tuesday, broke it up. Ellie Tolvanen has it now. His pass detected by Jordan Eberle. Left for the taking and wedged out to center by Jared McCann. Phil Myers, ex of Philadelphia, draws it back in his own territory. Played on the wall for Matthias Ekholm, who signed a brand new contract extension yesterday. A handle for Philip Grubauer goes off his stick. Seattle captain Mark Giordano to the wall. A steal. Tolvanen going wide. Ben Harper, good stick by Carson Soucy. And that one goes out of play. And that's another good thing that Carson Soucy brings into this lineup. He's not afraid to block the shots. He, every single game, puts his body on the line so that that puck doesn't get a chance to get to Grubauer. Hayden Fleury is not playing. He did in game number one. Soucy replacing him in the group of six in front of Grubauer. Jeremy Lozon in control. Ryan Donato, who made history with the first ever goal on Tuesday night, clears it in the crowd off the glass, stopping play. 18.49 left here in the opening period. You've already seen a couple of pretty big body checks, not ones that make you fall, but the ones against the glass, and sometimes that actually hurts more. And I think that's got to be a, a pivotal point right now for Nashville to get on the body early. The Kraken started in Las Vegas, now here tonight in Nashville, two great barns. Nashville, an expansion team in 1998, played for the Stanley Cup against Pittsburgh in 2017. Roman Yossi, their captain. Clears it out to center. He won the Norris Trophy as the league's best defenseman in 2020. Lausanne right on the money for Brandon Tanev, who starts on this line with Morgan Geeky and Ryan Donato. Left in back of the goal, dug out by Geeky. Good defensive stick by Yossi. Now Tanev this way for Alexiak. Moved around for Adam Larson, easily detected by Yossi Soros. No further play. And that was a really good shift by that line. And it's a new line. It's adding Tanev up to the third to this third line for Seattle. You get a good look here. It was a hard four check. And Morgan Geeky, his mindset is just to bring the puck to the net. You never know what's going to happen. But I like that mindset behind the net. Just get to the front. Face off of the Nashville zone, Riley Sheehan, who's flanked tonight at least to start by Mason Appleton and Nathan Bastion. We'll get resituated here. Protest by Sheehan, who's excellent in the circle. Seattle had a pretty good night in the face-off circle Tuesday night in Las Vegas out to center. Bracken lost that game 4-3, to three, fell behind early 3-0, came all the way back. A little bit of controversy on the goal by Chandler Stevenson. Was it kicked? Was it not? Doesn't matter. It counted. Shane shot just wide of Saros to the far side. It's held in by Adam Larson. Mason Appleton low to high. Oleksiak, his shot blocked. But blocked that time by Cody Glass. Nick Cousins out to center. Glass, the first ever player drafted by the Vegas Golden Knights, clears it in. And now Grubauer puts it on a tee for Jamie Oleksiak, who came off the COVID list. Along with Jonas Donskoy and Jared McCann on Tuesday. Now it goes deep. Kel Kelly Yarncroft remains on that list for Seattle. The former Predator. It's been eight seasons here. Goes off Saros. 
All the way back, Mark Giordano. Wedged in the zone by Susie. Barre Boulay out in front. Alex Barre Boulay. Waiver acquisition from Tampa Bay on this line for the Kraken. Now it's broken up by Carson Susie, not out. The Predators trap the zone. Philip Forsberg goes to work out of the corner. He'll cycle high with it. Forsberg, top line gets out there for Nashville. This is Matt Duchesne. Out in front just by Ryan Johansson. Matias Ekholm. Tough pass to handle for Duchesne. He's muscled by Susie. Wenberg lends a helping hand for Seattle. May attempt to get it out. Puck was batted down with a high stick over the shoulder. And that'll stop play. You got to give Susie credit. That is a hard person to take a one on one battle with in Philip Forsberg. He loves the one on one play. You saw him try to go in and between Susie's stick two or three times on that play, but he stayed in front of him. But that's a tough job to ask for him to do. You know, JT, Dave Haxtall has some interchangeable parts in the back end, doesn't he? You're going to probably see this a lot a rotation of guys depending on the opponent and how everybody's playing. Off the face off, a chance, they score! Right off the draw! Ellie Tolvanen gets to it! He goes top shelf. And the Predators break the ice early. Well, they didn't waste any time getting on the board here tonight. It's a little bit of a broken play off of a face off. Right to Tolvanen, he goes right off of his skate, kicks it up to his stick, and beats Grubauer on the short side, blocker side. Again, that's a tough one to say, but it's a little bit, it's a broken play. Not a whole lot you can do on that one. Right you'd off like the face maybe, off. You'd like to maybe get a box out, but right. sometimes on those broken plays, it's hard to know exactly when to go. Ellie Tolvanen, he led Nashville in power play goals a season ago. Obviously his first, of his, this is opening night for them. Luke Cunning will get the assist. On the game's first tally, out of the corner, Jaden Schwartz for Seattle, pawed down by Jordan Eberle. Lay it to the point man, Jeremy Lozon, popping out as Schwartz, getting a pass that time from Vince Dunn. McCann out of the corner, a handoff. This is Jordan Eberle. He'll thread it back, cycle it deep. Awaiting the puck is Jaden Schwartz. He stood up out of the corner by Carrier. He'll get to the wall. Schwartz goes deep for McCann, nullified by Mikhail Granlin. Good for checking pressure here for the Kraken. Nice response after getting scored on. Here's McCann for Lausanne. Going wide with a shot snared by Soros. No further play. You said it, John. You said this is a great response after a goal. A lot of coaches will talk about that first shift after a goal, how important it is to, in this case, nullify their momentum that they just got. Seattle did a very good job of keeping the puck deep down in Nashville zone with good forechecking. So break for the McCann line. Geeky will come out, take the face off for Seattle. Face off win for Colton Sissons and now Dante Fabro. Out to center ice. This is the fourth line for Nashville called the herd line. Sissons. Yakov Trenin and Tanner Janot took a hard run that time at Adam Larson. The Kraken attempt to get it deep. The Predators swing it back. This is Trenin on the off wing with a shot. Good defensive stick by Jamie Oleksiak. They go to the wall. It's a three-man scrum. The Kraken attempt to dig it out. They do, but it goes right to Fabro. His shot sealed off by Grubauer. He'll hang on. That is a heavy fourth line for Nashville. They're strong on the body. You get those plays where it's around the corner. The puck just gets thrown back out, but look how they go right to the front of the net. Trennan doesn't waste time, goes right to in front of Grubauer. The puck is able to be swallowed up right in the stomach, but those are the plays from this fourth line that made them successful. Ace off will be in Grubauer's end. Defensive zone draw for Riley Sheehan. He'll take a lot of those, opposed by Ryan Johansson. So John Hines gets his top line out there against Seattle's fourth. Matt Duchesne at the line with Philip Forsberg, a dangle on Giordano. Forsberg circles the track, loses the handle and gets it back. A handoff now and turning with it is Duchesne. He's defended first by Sheehan, then Susie, free along the boards. Now a tie-up out of a four-man scrum. Right out, right on, denied by Grubauer and a stoppage. It's nice for Grubauer to get a nice, easier save. That first one that he let in, right in front off of a broken play. You get shots like that from the outside 
right on right into the middle of the crest where it has that nice Seattle logo. Those are the ones that get you warmed up and get you ready and into a game. Those numbers that we just saw earned Philip Grubauer a chance at the Vesna Trophy as the NHL's top goaltender. Mark Andre Fleury, then of Vegas, now of Chicago, won the honor. That is selected by the NHL's now 32 general managers. Now it's cleared all the way down. Icing is called here against Seattle and a face off in the Kraken zone. Right now we have about five minutes gone in this period. It's going to need a couple shifts back to back for Seattle to kind of break this momentum that Nashville has pushed it, or put together so far in this game. Ellie Tolvin in with an early goal. Stinger right off the draw on Grubauer. Cody Glass. Along with Philip Tomasino on this line. A 20 year old first NHL game and Nick Cousins for Nashville out to center. Barre Boulet will clear it all the way in. A promising player with Tampa Bay available on waivers and a good get for the Seattle Kraken in terms of skill. Donskoy taken down. Play to the wall. The Predators get to it. And carry out to center in the person of Nick Cousins for Tomasino. Broken up. Good defense that time by Vince Dunn. He'll slide it ahead for Donskoy. Jonas Donskoy, a little spin move. He drops it for Dunn. His shot stopped by Soros. He'll hang on. A good look for Dunn. This is when he's at his best. He's jumping up into the play, becoming that second wave. Donskoy with a great individual effort to make time to delay, but Dunn comes up and he's looking for that offense. Vince Dunn, who provided so much scoring in the preseason, they're going to need that out of him. He's one of those guys that can really transport the puck. Top line comes out for Dave Haxtall, Jared McCann, Jordan Eberle, Jaden Schwartz, Carson Soucy, Mark Giordano on the back end. We talked about Yossi winning the Norris Trophy in 2020. Giordano did that with Calgary in 2019 as the league's best defenseman. Now, Eberle, a lead pass for Schwartz. In the Predators zone, he goes to work. He'll play it by Myers in back of the goal. Eckholm under duress. Eberle has control. He'll wind it back for Giordano. He'll move it along the boards, keep it deep. Here's McCann. Jared McCann will hunt it down. Turnaround shot off the blocker of Saros. Left in back of the goal. Granlin takes over. And a stretch pass for Tolvin and doesn't work. And a handle for Grubauer. They play on. Giordano, Schwartz, and now Eberle. It's help and support from Jaden Schwartz. It's knocked down by Phil Myers. He goes D to D with Ekholm. This way it's Ryan Johansson. He'll clear it in. Grubauer, where he can handle in the trapezoid. Larson, Oleksiak has time to break it out. Jamie Oleksiak, Ryan Donato. A regroup for Larson through the middle for Tanev. Nashville had defensive numbers back. The puck is available in front of that Kraken bench. It goes out of play. And we get a stoppage. 13.09 left in the opening period here in Smashville. And the Preds have the first goal off the stick of Ellie Tolvanen. They lead it 1 0. What a great moment here in Nashville. That's Jeff Camelio for 15 seasons on the equipment staff of the Nashville Predators, now the head equipment manager for the Seattle Kraken. A great guy and a tough job. 100%. They do so much behind the scenes that make that make the players leave. Some players don't even know how much they do behind the scenes, but they are the key reason why, you know, players are successful on the ice. Wonderful response from the crowd here. Chris Steerwalt, James Stuckey round out the equipment staff. They do a great job. It's tireless work. And it was difficult getting the new equipment in time during the pandemic. It wasn't easy. You can just imagine with all the issues that are going on all over the world. The puck there was batted down with a high stick. It affected the equipment staff and it was uh, quite a chore in the offseason. The Indeed player resume tonight is the newcomer Alex Barre Boulay. Let's talk about him and his skill set JT. He's an extremely skillful player. He hasn't had a lot of NHL experience yet. So that means there's a lot for him or room for him to grow in the NHL right now. Wasn't room with Tampa Bay, his previous team, the team that drafted him. He worked on the second power play at practice yesterday. Geeky has control. He'll slam one denied by Saros, and it deflects out of play. 12.30 left in period one. 
you like the mindset of Geeky early. There's been twice already that there's pucks that maybe he could hold on to it, delay, but he's going with the puck right to the net. Just that shooter's mentality of getting the puck to the net early and often. Those were career numbers for UC Soros. He faces a ton of shots. He's a smaller goaltender at 5'11", a sharp stick save right off the faceoff. Shot taken by Ryan Donato. Left in back of the goal. Brandon Tanev gets after it for Seattle. They work it around the clock. Giordano popping out again. Slammed in by Donato out of the corner. Morgan Geeky, low to high. Mark Giordano at the point. Geeky gets back up. He has control. It goes off Colton Sissons high, available. Knocked down. The Predators have it. Tanner Genot out to center. He's peppered on the back check by Donato. Susie paired on defense with the captain. 38 years young, Mark Giordano. Seattle changing, so is Nashville. 11.49 left in the opening period, 1-0 Predators. John and JT with you as always. Jaden Schwartz for the Kraken. Lays it back for Dunn. Nice dish for Lozon. His shot sealed off, taken care of by Soros. As he swipes it to the end boards. Tomasino back out to center. Rejected by Seattle's Jeremy Lozon. Matias Ekholm. The quarterback from the back of the goal. Outstanding defenseman. Phil Myers. Right on the money for Philip Tomasino. A first round pick. It comes all the way to the corner. Lozon pressured by Forsberg. Cousins for Tomasino. On and off his stick. Eberle gets it back out to center. Just about nine minutes gone in the opening period. Shots are seven for Seattle. Three taken by Nashville. And a whistle here will stop play. Here's a good look at the last chance, but it's the defense creating the offense. Right before that play, too, Dunn jumped up in the play. That's the second time he's jumped up and become that third wave. This time, Nashville was able to read it, and then Lo that makes so that Lausanne is open on the far side for that shot. Mikhail Granlin, Riley Sheehan wins it back. Sheehan played his college hockey at no Notre Dame. That goes by Nathan Bastion. Back of the goal, Granlin. Good four checking by Sheehan, who's all over him. They get to the corner. Support from Seattle's Mason Appleton. Mikhail Granlin losing control. Appleton has it. A short side bid shut down by Soros. Fabro, 57 in the gold. In a battle here with Mason Appleton. It kicks out to Granlin. The Preds have control. Here they come. You're looking at Luke Cunning in a foot race with Adam Larson, who gets help from Jamie Oleksiak, who gives it away. Alexander Carrier moves in. Good recovery by Oleksiak on him. Larson to the outside. Appleton is there. He's checked on the play. And the Kraken clear it back out to neutral ice. Seattle will change as the Predators now clear it in. Oleksiak reverses for Larson. And now Barre Boulay turns it over. A steal. Roman Yossi with a button hook. He'll look around. He led Nashville in terms of scoring as a defenseman last season. Larson now. Moving off for Alex Wenberg, taken down in a hard way by Yossi. Johansson goes cross ice to Shane. Now Tolvin in the goal scorer goes off in a line change. He'll clear it in. Seattle back on it. Giordano out of the corner. Four checked a bit by Johansson. He survives it. It comes out. Myers regained by Wenberg. And he loses control to Phil Myers. Young man from Moncton, New Brunswick, through center now. Duchesne, double team that time. Giordano, one of those. Tanev, two. Seattle back out. Here's Morgan Geeky. He scored a beautiful goal in the third period in Las Vegas Tuesday night that tied the game. And the tie was broken by Chandler Stevenson. Now Jeremy Lozon. Seattle looking for their first ever win. The opening game of the season for Nashville. Seattle will be in Columbus on Saturday night. You can see it right here on Root Sports. It bounces over the stick of Vince Dunn. He'll get to it. He throws on the brakes, an errant pass. The Kraken wedge it out thanks to Donato. Janot for Trennan. Hit hard by Vince Dunn. Backtracking is Donato. Open area for Lausanne. A stretch pass right on the money. Here comes Everly on the off wing. He'll cut. Lay it back for Dunn. What a stop by Soros. Attacking that puck out of the corner. Out of the scrum, Everly. Looking for McCann. It's denied. Now Trennan walks it out. He goes cross ice. Trennan hit hard by the big rig. As Alexiak came up in a strong way that time on his man. A little driftwood on the ice and Dunn takes care of that. JT takes care of the puck. 
pretty good skill. Now it's cleared through center. Tolvanen getting back to it. An early goal from Ellie Tolvanen has given Nashville a 1 0 lead. Tolvanen on cue. Can't get to it. Broken up. Good play by Larson. Seattle back out. Here's Jaden Schwartz. Marked by three. Goes deep. It's Yossi's corner. Schwartz dug it out for a moment. Carrier to the outside. 7.49 left period one. Here come the Predators at the line. It's Roman Yossi. Swiss born defenseman clears it in. Larson moves it. Out to center. Cracking on the attack. Here comes Bastion, moving it on Myers. He'll lower the shoulder, go to the corner, get help from Appleton. Giordano awaiting the puck, fanning on one. Appleton gets to it. He tried to return the favor, and he did. Shane works it in for Bastion out of the corner. Out in front for Appleton again. Soros has come up big early. Out to center, and all the way back in Seattle territory, Giordano for Mason Appleton. Riley Sheehan to the outside, off the defender, Ekholm. Appleton out of the corner, Dante Fabro. All over him, Sheehan to the point man, awaiting there is Carson Soucy. Indirect pass by Sheehan, Appleton. Now Barre Boulet holding onto it. He'll dangle to the outside for Appleton. Larson with a shot through a screen wide. Good pressure by Seattle. Barre Boulet to an open wing on a change, Donskoy, he's fresh. He'll get to it, he goes down with help from Fabro. Ekholm has control. And Nashville, with Tomasino popping it out, survives all of that. 6.30 left, period one. Here comes Donskoy. Jonas Donskoy goes to work. Ben Harper at 6.7. Plays it along for Brian Johansson. Duchesne gets it out. And Larson draws it back for the Kraken. Adam Larson paired on defense with Jamie Oleksiak. Pass intended for Geeky doesn't work. He's defended by Matt Duchesne, who's looking to have a bounce back season for the Predators. Johansson tries to dig it out. Just about 14 minutes gone in the opening period. John Forsland, JT Brown at Bridgestone Arena in Music City. Now Seattle will get a change in, so will Nashville. Oleksiak. Start the breakout with Jeremy Lozon, who has the puck. He's hit hard in open ice. But the hitter, not the hit E, went down, and that was Tanner Genot. Colton Sissons. An easy chance, kicked out by Grubauer and directed out of play. 5.30 left in the opening period. Like I said, the hitter steps up. And it's the hit E that stands with the hitter going down. That's always good to see. one nothing. Nashville. Live at Climate Pledge Arena. A very limited number of select home game tickets are available now. Be part of history for the inaugural season. Go to Ticketmaster.com for tickets. Kraken Nation represented Nashville chapter. Take a look at the schedule starting in Vegas. We'll be in Columbus on Root Sports Saturday night in Philly on Monday, at New Jersey on Tuesday, and the home opener at Climate Pledge Arena on the 23rd against Vancouver. Now Roman Yossi moved off Grubauer, and the Kraken get to it. It's held in the zone. Trennan hit hard by Lausanne. Done for Sissons. Kraken start a breakout. Jared McCann, activity in back of the play. Vince Dunn in a battle with Yakov Trennan. Trennan has a size advantage here, but high marks to Vince Dunn for dropping the mitts and taking on this guy. And that's a good scrap there from Vince Dunn. He lays a massive hit. Trennan jumps in right away. Vince Dunn doesn't even hesitate before he drops his gloves. He knows what's going down. There's the hit. Wow. Trennan jumps in. You like that Lozon even came in and said, Vince Dunn, I'll take this one for you. Dunn says, absolutely not. Jumps right in, and they start throwing bombs. Again, he's given up some size. Vince Dunn's not necessarily known for this, but you got to love the heart. You got to love the fire right after that big hit. We saw that in preseason, too, out of Vince Dunn, right? And that can get the guys on the bench right. energized, ready to go. 
they know the scoring chances so far would probably favor Seattle, but they're down in this situation. A play like that, a big hit followed by a fight, I know the guys on the bench are fired up. And that's what you were talking about in the pregame show, about being a, a road warrior, so to speak, coming into this hostile environment. That's one way to kind of turn the table. The Crack and JT have done an excellent job carrying the play in this first period after getting scored on. We're going to sort out the penalties. We know they're fighting majors. Five minutes, that should not affect the on-ice playing strength. Now we'll see if there's possibly an instigator involved. We'll Nashville, see. number 13, minor penalty for roughing, five minutes for fighting. 29 Seattle, five minutes for fighting. So the Kraken get a power play, an extra two to Yakov Trenin. Yeah, they didn't give him the, the instigator there, and that's where the roughing came in because he jumped right in. Sure, there's not enough warranted for the instigator because uh, he uh, was saying for Dunn was willing. He's a willing combatant, but again, now you got to look to see who's going to uh, quarterback that second line. Muckle shoot casino power play for Seattle. And they were 0 for 3 on Tuesday night in Las Vegas. Looking for their first power play goal in history. Giordano lays it back. Carried out by Ryan Donato. He has his place in Kraken history and NHL history. Scoring the first goal ever. Along the end boards. Everly lends a helping hand for Seattle. Big scrum and back of Soros. Everybody wants it. Finally, they blow it dead. 127 left on the man advantage. You could have seen another penalty on that play yeah. down behind. Donato wasn't really given an opportunity to get back up. Tough call, though, maybe when you're already on the power play for them to, to give you that one. But uh, it's definitely something to look at. Keep watching an IL because Nashville has been trying to play a little bit physical here, especially on some of the more skilled players. For our new fans, if you instigate a fight, you know, you're the guy that goes in there and starts everything, and it's kind of one sided. You can get a two minute penalty for that and a 10 minute misconduct for the first one, a game misconduct for the second one. Here was just roughing. McCann with a shot. They score! That puck had eyes with Jaden Schwartz out in front. It's the first power play goal in the history of the Seattle Kraken. They tie the game at one. That was a seeing eye shot going in right off the face off passes it across and McCann is just getting the puck to the net. I'm not quite sure if Schwartz in front gets a piece of it but either way he's in front of Zaro so he can't see the puck. Eyes in front. Can't see I can't really tell if he gets a tip on it but either way McCann's thought process of just getting the puck to the net and he's rewarded for it. Those two guys do it again. They're going to make it tough on us, right? Tuesday night, we thought Schwartz scored. He did, and the puck never got to him. McCann got the goal. This one maybe grazes Schwartz out in front. Looks like it might have gone off the defenseman, so it should be McCann's second goal of the young season. Tying the game at 15-27 of period one. I used to think my eyesight was good, but now I'm questioning that. Oh, you've got great eyes. And style, by the way. Barre Boulet taken down. Delayed penalty against Nashville. Grubauer to the bench. Extra man out. Preds get possession. That'll stop play. Tripping is the call. It will be another crack and power play when we come back. As we say, this one had eyes. McCann, smart choice. Throw it at the net. There's the pinball and the goal. as a top pairing defenseman for John Hines in the box here for tripping JT. We got to see a little bit of skill there from Barre Boulet in his first game as a Seattle Kraken. Now, Nashville's fans weren't too excited about that penalty, but if you look at the replay, he does get tripped up. You see the alignment? Muckle shoot casino power play ensues. Jared McCann has tied the game with a power play goal just moments ago for That's Seattle nice. now. Matias Echo will kill some time early all the way down to Philip Grubauer. The Kraken have nine of the 13 shots in the game so far. Early goal from Ellie Tolvanen, and that was answered by Jared McCann. This is Ryan Donato. Slingshotting back for Jordan Everly. Gains the line. This way it's McCann by Everly. Broken up by Colton Sissons. He'll clear it all the way back down. 90 seconds left. 
on Seattle's second power play. A five game road trip to start the season. This being game number two now, Donato. Through the center zone. It'll dump into the corner. Ben Harper goes down. Donato with a push from behind. Harper stays down. That was a tough collision. And we'll see if a call is made on this. Harper gets up and he's upset about that. It's an awkward crash into the boards here. Donato and him are just battling in for the puck. It looks like he maybe toe picks. I don't know if Donato truly caused it. They're just going in for the puck, but that's that's a scary sight to see a guy go into the boards like that. Glad to see that he's up skating around on his own. No penalty will be called. And I think you're absolutely right. You've toe picked before, right? You can explain that to the fans. Many times, many times. <laughs> When you're skating, sometimes the, the front edge of your steel gets caught into a groove of the ice, and down you go. So the unpaid officials here voice their disapproval. That's okay. That's their right as fans. 113 left on the power play. Faceoff will stay put in the Nashville zone. Hines will lobby away at the veteran referee, Ian Walsh. They usually don't change their mind. Now out of the corner. Brian Johansson wins it back to that corner. And the Preds kill time. 328 left in period one, tied at one. You see the time left on the Seattle power play. Giordano, Barre Boulet. Alex Barre Boulet at the line now. He'll move it in. Soros on a tee for Ekholm, off the glass. It goes out of play. A face-off will be in the Nashville zone. And that's a good thing for Seattle, that that puck goes up and out of play. Now you get to save those valuable seconds that they would have had to waste going back and regrouping from behind the net on a cleared puck. That'll give Dave Haxtell and his coaching staff Head coach Haxtell, Jay Leach, not in the frame. He is running the defense off the draw now. McCann off a stick. Peppered by Johansson, it comes out. Jared McCann with a power play goal has tied this game here in Smashville, as they call it. They have developed a great identity. Seventh man mentality over the years here. We expect the very same in Seattle. Now it's cleared in. Everly out of the corner. Moved all the way around. Giordano awaiting at the point. 23 seconds of the power play. McCann shoves it in. Everly a give back. Jared McCann from the half boards. Giordano around the clock. One timer. Donato is stopped by Soros. Soros does a really good job of reading the play. As soon as the puck goes from Giordano over to Donato, who has a really good shot, he's already square. He takes that jump across right away to get in front of that because Donato has shown already you know, how lethal his shot can be. 14 seconds left on the penalty to Alexander Carrier. Alex Wenberg led Seattle with eight face-off wins on Tuesday night. He wins another. Lozon moved across. Susie for Donskoy. Side of the goal. Wenberg, a power move. They score! Brandon Tanev on the follow-up. It's another power play goal. Seattle with a 2-1 to -one lead. Tanev is in the right place at the right time on this move. You had a nice power move by Wenberg, but Tanev gets to the front of the net. He's the one who won the faceoff for Wenberg at the start, and he comes back in and is right in front of the net when the puck lands right on his stick. A great move. Wenberg had a good look at it, but it goes right on to Tanev's stick. Right place, right time, and it's in the back of the net. A silencer here in Nashville as he quiets the crowd down. And the Seattle power play is two out of two with two shots. 2.20 left, period one. Two to one, Kraken, 21. That's Wenberg handing off for Larson. Wenberg in control through the center zone. Little disturbance in back of the play. Interference is being called here against Seattle. With 2.10 left in period one. 
It'll be Brandon Tanev who takes a seat. And so Nashville, for embellishment, will be, will be guilty here too. And it's Philip Forsberg who will sit in the other penalty box, Tanev next to Vince Dunn. And so that will even the terms on the ice. Yeah, I've always found the embellishment call a little different. It should be one or the other, in my opinion. But again, that's not why. Oh, no. It's, I don't think he was the one that hit. Was he given a unsportsmanlike, or was he an embellishment and they got the wrong number down? Yeah, that could be too. So lots of confusion here. EQC scoring summary. That guy out of Providence College, where he won a national championship, Brandon Tanev, who will be a very popular player, I believe, in Seattle. It's not a bold prediction. That's probably exactly what will happen. And he gets the goal. The power play strike. Right now, the difference making tally in this one. Under two minutes left in period one. John and JT with you tonight here in Nashville. We'll be in central Ohio and Columbus on Saturday night. Larson now through the middle. They gain the zone. Wenberg is peppered by Grandlin. Alex Wenberg takes it to the wall. Mikhail Grandlin is all over him. Wenberg tries to kick it along for Don Skoy as we zoom in. Don Skoy attempting to pry it out for the crack, and he does. And now Alexiak looks for Elaine, lays it along. It'll dangle. Nice move. Don Skoy corralled by Soros. Don Skoy showing off a little bit of his shiftiness on that play. Kind of started to make him look like he was going to shoot, pulls it in, and gets another shot off on Soros. Soros is a great goaltender. It's going to have to be a little bit harder of a shot probably to beat him. But they did announce that it was an unsportsmanlike conduct right. for Forsberg. Four on four. Some room to operate. Giordano hammers one off the backside of Myers, and the Predators carry it out. It's Ekholm at his side. Nashville's goal scorer, Ellie Tolvanen. Philip Myers now will take it back. Good pressure by Geeky. He'll lay it back. Seattle attempting to reorganize, brought in offside by Mark Giordano. That'll stop play. Good little hand eye there from G Hill on the blue line with pressure. Couple stick taps up in the air. That's a tough one to, to keep inside, to keep it on side, but still you gotta like to see a guy show off a little bit of that hand eye. It's amazing. The dexterity these guys exhibit, the athleticism, and they do it on tiny, tiny blades of steel. It's an amazing sport. Through center ice now. Cunning goes wide. Pass right through the middle, goes wide. Nick Cousins, and he's hit hard. After the scoring chance, Jeremy Lausanne all over him. 43 seconds left. Period one here at Bridgestone Arena. Jaden Schwartz moves in for the Kraken. He'll pull up. He's sealed off a bit by Ekholm. Eberly attempting to dig it out. Now Schwartz will saucer it back for Larson, who dances at the point. Moved across now. A reset. Lausanne with a shot off Eberly. A little friendly fire out in front, and now Myers will take it back. 18 seconds left in the first. This is Nick Cousins at the Seattle line. Myers is in a shot. Good defensive stick by Adam Larson. Left along the boards. Eberly has the puck. Seven seconds left in period one. And after a Tolvanen goal early, Tanev's out of the box. He goes to work at the horn. What a response by Seattle. Kraken intermission presented by Jack in the Box will be coming up next. Brandon Tanev, one of two power play strikers in the first period for the Seattle Kraken looking for their first ever win in franchise history. Off to a good start in Smashville. Kraken two, Predators one. Here in the booth, no food for us, JT. Fans are loving it inside Bridgestone Arena. Kraken fans are loving the first period numbers, the power play that was perfect, and the scoring chances of the nine in period one, eight 
on the Kraken side of things. The Northwest Chevy Silverado drive to the net is this goal, JT Brown, from Brandon Tanev. Tanev does a good job of kind of getting lost in the defense. He gets back to the front of the net. And there it is. I said earlier, right place, right time. He's hanging out in the high slot, jumps down right at the correct time, drives himself right into the front of the net, and the puck lands right on his stick. As we saw Tuesday night, the opponent scored first. Vegas scored three goals on Tuesday. McCracken roared back in that one. Snoqualmie Casino Sportsbook Faceoff. Say that a few times. They threw that at me, you know. I need a full night to read these things. But somehow we got that one out, and we thank them for their patronage, their sponsorship, all season long on Root Sports. The newest Kraken, Alex Barreboulet, in conversation with Matt Duchesne as we start the second period. John Forsland, JT Brown. And as I was saying, it was three goals for Vegas. Then a comeback, three unanswered goals by Seattle Tuesday night. But they end up losing that one in the first ever game, four to three. Here, Ellie Tolvin had scored early. Short-lived it was as the Kraken roar back with two power play goals. Barre Boulet pulls up, moves it across, just in back of Alex Wenberg, who's occupied by Alexander Carrier. Jonas Donskoy, corner rotation, Wenberg has control. He scored 17 goals as a Florida Panther a season ago. That was a career best. Wenberg grinding. Going down with help from Carrier. Now Donskoy spins away from Roman Yossi, and Nashville will sort it out. Second period of the long change where anything can happen. Carrier out to center. Little wedge by Trennan. And offside is called at the line with 50 seconds gone in the second period. It's a really good first shift for Seattle coming out in the second period. You have to assume getting outchanced 8-1 to one in the first period. Nashville probably got a little bit of a talking to in, the, in between the period, so you know that they're going to have to come out with a little bit more fire. Yeah, and so much for the opening night celebration, right? The coach would have none of that along the boards now. Nashville, they believe they can compete for a playoff spot in a tough central division. Wheeled in by Trennan. Top of your screen, Schwartz coming back. Susie on the back end, Jakob Trennan. Right about with Vince Dunn in the first period. As Nashville sends a couple of four checkers in, it's rimmed all the way around for Ekholm. He'll shield it for Janot, who gets it back out. Myers at the line for Trennan, knocked down. Trennan gets it back. Janot with a shot, great save by Grubauer. Out of the corner. McCracken get to it, Everly. Out to center for Schwartz. Phil Myers, peppered by Schwartz. Tight turns it away for Tanner Janot. Morgan Geeky with a steal, but the Kraken are offside. It's a really good save by Philip Grubauer. He's coming in at, at Susie. It hits Susie, and then right to the slot, right off the blocker side. Good reaction time from a shot that close yeah. to make that blocker save. Well out at the top of his crease, right? And that takes away the angle. Excellent job by Philip Grubauer. Vince Dunn locates the puck. Paired on defense with Jeremy Lozon. Geeky, Tanev, Donato for Seattle up front. Just about two minutes gone here in the second period. Game number two of a five-game road swing will be in Columbus on Saturday night. Right here on Root Sports. Soros moves it. Wall sealed by Geeky right on, denied and snared by Soros. Really good play by Geeky to seal the wall. More often than not, a goaltender is going to play that puck on their forehand. Geeky takes the wall away, knowing it's going there, and smartly throws it to the net. Tries to catch Soros, trying to get back into his crease. Boy, this 23 year old has been very, very impressive. Morgan Geeky, former Carolina Hurricane. 36 games with them a season ago off the draw. Geeky, a shot, good stop by Soros. As he scissored out that leg, and now Tanev resets it. Done intentionally off the wall. Donato to the outside, paddle down for Soros. He'll melt it down. An excellent start. Getting pucks to the net with bodies in front of the net. A smart play by Dunn to shoot it off the wall, knowing that 
knowing that Donato is kind of getting pushed off to the side of the net, that allows Donato to get the puck, try a wraparound attempt. But again, they just keep sending pucks and bodies to the front of the net. 15 shots for Seattle. Five taken by Nashville. Oleksiak with a shot answered off the blocker of Saros. Right off the faceoff, Carrier for Cousins. The Predators back out. Bastion, excellent back checking. Take a look at the shots and the hits here. And now Cousins out through center. He'll scale it in. Oleksiak for Seattle on his horse. Pinned a bit by Tomasino. And a penalty in back of the goal. Larson all over his man. Getting up slowly is Nick Cousins. And Nashville will get a power play, I believe, on a cross-checking call. Seattle number six, minor penalty for cross-checking. Here's a, a look at that. I think this one's going to be a cross-check, new rules or not. He throws Cousins into the boards. He gets down. I think it's the right call. Cousins doesn't have the puck. That's going to be a call regardless of how they're doing the newer implement implementation of the rule. Yeah, that would be a model of that. Off the draw, Yossi. Around the horn, shot taken. Grubauer stands tall. Right off the faceoff, the shot taken by Ryan Johansson. And Grubauer had none of that. Yeah, we get another look here. He sees the numbers, but Cousins doesn't have the puck. That's going to be a call every single time. You can see it on Cousins' face. That one did not feel good. Face off win for the Kraken. Yossi cradles the puck. Matt Duchesne downstairs it goes. A give back by Grandlin. Up top, Yossi, a wrist shot, tipped wide. Grandlin out in front. Grubauer got a stick to it. Here's Matt Duchesne. He had it, he lost it, and Riley Sheehan elevates the puck all the way back down. 16.40 left in the second period. John and JT here at Bridgestone Arena. Nashville, Tennessee. Duchesne to the outside. Forsberg had a tough time gapping up. Giordano was all over him. Alex Wenberg now will thread it in. Nashville starts their power play breakout. Through the center zone, Duchesne this way for Granlund. Met there by Oleksiak. Giordano got a stick to it, so did Tanev not out. Forsberg, Roman Yossi. Philip Forsberg refines the handle, walks in, away from Giordano. Now Duchesne over his stick. He was guarded by ten if it's knocked down by Wenberg. He wins the battle, he got it outside the line. Nashville has to tag up. That much time left on the Predators' power play. Forsberg sorts it out. Delayed penalty against Seattle. Shot taken, swallowed up by Grubauer from Tolvanen. It will be a five on three for Nashville for 36 seconds. Yeah, it's going to be, a, it should be a slashing here. There were a couple opportunities to get the puck out of the zone that were held in by Nashville. And that allows that Seattle wasn't allowed to change. He comes right across with the slash, but when you're tired, the legs aren't moving. You take a bad angle on the player coming up yep. and you slash him. It's the right call, but a couple missed opportunities to get the puck out allowed that so they couldn't change. Came up, got him in the hands there at the end. That's a that's a obvious call. They do it all the time. Dave Hackstall now in a, a challenging moment for his team early here in the second period. Two-man advantage for Nashville. Johansson up top. Yossi with a shot wide. The rebound. Great stick. Good defensive stick by Carson Susi. A reset for the Preds. This is Yossi. Delaying. Granlin hammers one. Off a body out in front. Located by Forsberg. One-timer. Yossi scores! Roman Yossi with a bomb. They will stay put on the power play. And Nashville has tied it. Well, the towels are waving after this shot from Rossi up top. You have a five on three, a lot of open ice, hard for Schwartz to get back in the lane. You have the extra player standing right in front, and he lets one fly high glove over Grubauer. They had the outnumbered situation. They had traffic out in front, and their leading score from a season ago 
Roman Yossi. And they stay on the power play. Yossi was a focal point, one of the focal points of our pregame show. And Dave Haxtall talked about his skill set. Conventional five on four, buck 20 left in it. Predators work it all the way around. Here's Tolvanen. Ellie Tolvanen, bumper slot. Cousins around the clock. Forsberg fought off the traffic in front. A reset. Tolvanen with a shot stopped by Grubauer a couple of times. Luke Cunnan had the follow-up. And that's a great reactionary glove save to Cunnan in front. Standing there all alone off the rebound, but Grubauer stands tall. Sometimes your best penalty killer has to be your goalie. In a situation like this, they just gave up a shorthanded goal. Right now is not the opportunity, and he makes a great save right there with the glove. Roman Yossi tying the game. The only assist on the goal went to Philip Forsberg. 64 seconds left on the Nashville power play. Shane in the circle for Seattle. Possession to the Preds. Ekholm walks the line, deals away, and gets it back from Luke Cunnan. But off the stick of Riley Sheehan, and it skips out to the center zone. 50 seconds left in the manpower advantage, and the kill for the Kraken. 14.30 left in the second, deadlocked at two. To the outside it goes, Cousins in the slot. Occupied, defended that time. Good job by Carson Soucy. Ekholm around the horn. Cunning with a shot. Stopped by Grubauer. It's available. Lozon got to it, not out. Ekholm will dust it off. Move it in on Appleton. Send it back for Cousins. He's guarded by Nathan Bastion. Now Matthias Ekholm. This is Ellie Tobinen. His shot is stopped again as Grubauer saw it all the way. It's a good save, another one by Grubauer on this penalty kill. Nashville's been moving the puck pretty well. This one a little bit further outside than I'm sure Nashville would like to take that shot, but for Seattle, you'll give up that shot from the outside. Let your goalie handle that. Tolvin in. Breakout season last year, he led Nashville with six power play goals. Just about six minutes left in the second period. Matt Duchesne crossing sticks with Seattle's Alex Wenberg. As we zoom in, good win for Wenberg, allowing Alexiak a chance to pump it out. He'll send it all the way down. You can ice the puck in that scenario. Down a man. Now it's carried out by the Preds. You're looking at Matt Duchesne. Going wide, he stops in a dime. Here's Yossi, who's just tied it. Moved along, a shot from well out, stopped by Oleksiak. Four shots on the power play. Carrier had the last shot for Nashville. Forsberg will circle back. Even terms on the ice. Also where it counts. Yossi out in front, defended by Adam Larson. Brandon Tanev, who has scored tonight. Wenberg on the gallop, here he comes. He'll pull up, lay it across, a beautiful pass, what a save! Soros his best on Jordan Everly. The Preds will change as they roll it in on Grubauer. Adam Larson now, the veteran defenseman, part of the leadership corps, gets it out to center. This is Jared McCann who has scored tonight. He has two goals on the young season. Schwartz zings it around for Eberle. Jaden Schwartz out of the corner off a defensive stick. It goes high. The Predators get back to it. Play it along the boards. Pumped along by Dante Fabro. Yakov Trenin, he's a freight train, he'll go to work. Sealed off beautifully by Giordano. Out of the corner, Harper, blocked by Everly. Mark Giordano, for his partner Vince Dunn, awaiting his Schwartz, he'll wedge it out. Nashville tags up, 12.27 left in the second period. The Preds now reorganize, this is Philip Myers, cutting on Geeky. Oohs and ahs from the crowd, he goes deep. Centering pass, nobody home. Tanev has it for Seattle. Here they come. He'll start his engine. Brandon Tanev, a lead pass for Morgan Geeky. Shoulder on shoulder with Ekholm. Geeky attempting to dig it out. They battle in the corner. Ekholm has control. Little handoff for Phil Myers. Off the window, through center, and back out. Susie. A quick up. Red in the center zone by Nashville's Mikhail Granlund. And it comes all the way back down. Geeky in first, shadowed by Echo. Roughed up a bit. Tolvanen almost gave it away. Now it's moved along the boards. The Predators will get it out. Donato 
As it's shot in by Cunning in on Grubauer. This is Susi. Moved along. Jeremy Lozon. Good job. Sealing him off by Grandlin. Tomasino. Roughed up beautifully. Open ice hit by Carson Susi. The definition of a body check. You separate the attacker from the puck. And he did. Now Cody Glass. Nick Cousins off the boards. He'll dump it in. Susi is back. Finished off on the four check. Larson around. Played along the wall now. Knocked down. Good job by Yossi. To an open wing. A long reach of Susi got there. Shane out to center. This is Nathan Bastion. Nice cut in half by Yossi on him. Nick Cousins in control for the Preds. 10.50 left in the second period. Shot 17, Seattle. 12 taken by Nashville. Predators cross the line. Carrier went down. Here's Jonas Donskoy. Bumped a bit by Ben Harper. Ryan Johansson drops it off. Donskoy reads it for the Kraken. They go to work. Barre Boulet was there. And now Carrier off a stick. Oleksiak will trap the zone. Rim it all the way around. Alex Barre Boulet gets to it. In deep for Donskoy. Nice read defensively by Carrier. But Seattle gets it. Here's Larson. All the way across. A chip wide by Barre Boulet. He's got it again. Canceled by Harper. Donskoy. Inside track on Carrier. Barre Boulet in front. They score! That's hockey, baby! Alex Wenberg with the finish. What a pass by Alex Barre Boulet. And the Kraken recapture a one goal lead. And that's a really great goal and chemistry already building in Barry Belay's first game. He kicks the puck down low to Donskoy. There's a battle, it goes right back, but he has the sense to know that Wenberg is standing off to the side. Instead of shooting, passes it back door. Saros is out of the play. There's nothing he can do on that. And a great goal by Wenberg. Beautiful goal. Great boys with it. Skate to stick. Great vision by the youngster. The Kraken back in business. Just about halfway through. Now with a 3-2 lead. Out to center. Nashville will break it out. Duchesne wide of Grubauer. Icing is called here against Nashville. Face off in the Pred zone. In hockey, there's so many swings of momentum. We saw it early with the fight with Dunn, and then two power play goals were scored. Now this time, Nashville scores on the man advantage, but the key was not allowing another one when there was still the five on four to be had after the five on three. That's a big momentum shift that leads in to that goal by Wenberg. EQC scoring summary. Wenberg is first at 9.54 from Barre Boulay, Jonas Donskoy. A beautiful play. Face off win, McCann. Done from well out, snared by Soros, and a stoppage of play. Nine minutes, 51 seconds left in the second period. Alex Wenberg, where you can always put on a show here in Music City. He has the Kraken with a one goal lead. In July, the expansion draft. Glorious day. It started cloudy, right, JT? And then the skies parted. Just a wonderful day. We always remember that. Alex Wenberg has just given Seattle a 3-2 lead. Symmetra teammates, and part of the expansion draft, you go back and you look at the experience, and Ron Francis looked at this process a, a variety of different ways. You take a look at the timeline, the franchise being awarded, coaching selection. We'll get to the Symmetra teammates. Very soon as Grubauer says no on that shot taken by Matt Duchesne. Philip Forsberg moving in on Jeremy Lozon. Schwartz for Seattle. Johansson went down on his own accord. Play along the boards. McCann is tied up by Forsberg. 9.23 left in the second period. 3-2 Seattle through the center ice area. At the line they cross. Done. It never got through. Broken up by Matthias Ekholm, who has the puck now. They'll amble out to center ice. Seattle is changing. Ekholm, a shoot-in by Grubauer. Luke Cunning in the corner, stood up by Carson Susi. He'll kick it along. Tolvin in. Granlin, Susi off his stick. He's played well. Dunn has it with poise. D to D with Carson Susi. X of Minnesota. Out it comes for Donskoy. 
Moving it by Barre Boulet, who just made a beautiful play. Along the boards, out of the corner, Yossi. Four checked by Barre Boulet. Alexander Carrier headmans the puck for Forsberg. Now Granlin at his side, Tolvanen. He'll cross. He's defended by Susi. Well, Giordano along the boards. Barre Boulet back out. Eight and a half left. Second period in Nashville. These teams will play three times this season. Twice in Seattle in the second half. In late January for the first time. Tanev at the line. He'll cross in. He'll button hook. Look for a friend. It goes off an enemy. And it's broken up. Janot. A lead pass all the way down. Icing here against Nashville. Symmetra teammates, here it is, and we're talking about Ron Francis. And, you know, you look at these guys here and what they've been able to do in their career against Nashville. Jordan Everly started his career as an Edmonton Oiler. Don Skoy, San Jose, Colorado. But this experience is needed with this lot. Yeah, I like that you show that they've had success against one team. And sometimes it just happens where one team, you have their number. You just have that feeling, right? You have a nice feeling when you come to the rink. You know some good things are going to happen. Donato with a shot, grubbed out, blocked by Dante Fabro. Geeky out of the corner, a reset for Seattle. Alexiak popping out, Tanev, shot taken, good stick. Granlin got in the way, Donato, Tanev, and now Geeky. Holding on to it along the wall. Muscled a bit by Yakov Trenin. Fabro back out. Drawn back. Larson, a bouncing pass. Unattainable for Donato. Collected by Tanev. He'll shove it in. Laid off the glass by Dante Fabro. 7.25 left. Second period. John and JT with you as always. Through center. Broken up. Riley Sheehan for Seattle. Nice cut in half. Good back check by Philip Forsberg. They grind along the boards, and one of the kings of grind is Nathan Bastion. He'll move it. Stood up by Fabro. Bastion, excellent work. Tried to get after it. The Predators have control. Skated out, scooped in the zone by Forsberg. Jeremy Lozon, two four checkers in for the Predators. Vince Dunn turned it over. Cousins had it, lost it. The Kraken will survive it. They do a good job to circle back and converge on it. Now it's cleared all the way back in the Nashville zone. Icing against the Kraken. Got to give Seattle a lot of credit tonight with what they've been able to do to stop or slow down some of Nashville's offensive firepower. Their gaps have been very good. That was one thing in the last game in Vegas. They were using their quick transition. Tonight, the defense are making it extremely hard for Nashville to get into the zone. John Hines, the home team, gets the last change. They can see what the other side will do. And what he does here is get his top line out. Duchesne, who's kicked out of the circle. Ryan Johansson, Philip Forsberg, Riley Sheehan will take the faceoff for Seattle. Nashville had a slight edge in terms of faceoffs in period one off the draw. Predators, aerial flip off the glass. Some traffic in front from Johansson. Moving out is Vince Dunn. Good pass. Bastion goes wide. A self pass. He'll get after it in back of the goal. Muscle. His opposite number. Eckholm is all over him. Ryan Johansson. Four check by Jordan Everly. Duchesne off the stick of McCann. A jailbreak for Nashville. Here they come. Forsberg goes across with it. Duchesne with a shot of Sizzler off the glass. In play. Everly will hunt it down for Seattle. A quick up. Unattainable for Schwartz. Matt Duchesne will swing it back. They'll lay it deep in the zone. Partial change for Nashville. The Kraken in possession. Under six minutes left in the second. Giordano, Eberle. He'll move it by Yossi. Carrier, checked by McCann. A good job. Here comes Schwartz. Jaden Schwartz has Eberle in front. Excellent recovery by Carrier. Retaken by Eberle. Low to high. Oleksiak, Larson. Here it comes wide. No tip available. Cunning fanned on it. It's knocked down. Good hand eye by Schwartz. Everly, Jaden Schwartz. This way for Jamie Oleksiak. He'll forge it in. Turning with it. On a change. Wenberg is fresh. He'll lay it across. Oleksiak to the corner. Larson moves in. Barre Boulet in back of the goal. Here's Wenberg out in front. Off the traffic. Nashville survives it. Here they come. Yossi taken down by Oleksiak. The big guys got it. Here he comes. The rig goes to work. 
Seattle, in the midst of a change, he goes deep. Barre Boule and back of the goal to the flank off a stick. Well, now Fabro carried out, carried along by Tanner Janot. Janot muscles in, taken care of by Grubauer. There's some activity in back of the play. I couldn't watch it, JT. Had to keep my eye on the puck, and now comes all the way back down. That's why the crowd got agitated out of the corner. Wenberg moved along. Predators get it back out. Vince Dunn won a Stanley Cup with St. Louis in 2019. Lausanne, former Boston Bruin, dumps it in. 4.23 left. Second period in Smashville. Kraken by one. Looking for win one. Now it's cleared in. Harper to the corner. Fabro rimmed out. Through the center zone, good positioning by Seattle. Dunn draws it away from Colton Sissons. Lozon, a quick up for Tanev. No icing here. Comes all the way back in. Harper all the way around. To the point, Susie. A tip off the pad of sorrows from Mason Appleton. Out of the corner. Geeky, broken up. Cousins skates it out. But again, Seattle has defensive numbers back. Here's Kiki with a chance. Turned out by Saros, the rebound. He gets back across. You see Saros is the main man for the Nashville Predators. As the Kraken apply pressure with a one goal lead, looking for more. Kiki with a shot. Stellar goalkeeping from UC Saros. We're back. Yossi, the captain of the Predators, Mark Giordano, first ever captain of the Kraken. Yossi right here, JT, on the power play. And that's an absolute rocket. 96 miles an hour, hard shot. I mean, I think I probably shot it around 97. <laughs> I know but you 96 did. 96 is still, that's a hard shot did. and a hard one for Grubauer to save. And that was on a regular basis, 97. Saros gets in the way again. Giordano from the point. And for many years, they had the hardest shot guy in the NHL here, Shea Weber, well over 100 miles an hour. In back of the goal, Mason Appleton. Nathan Bastion. Shea now the captain of the Montreal Canadiens, starting the season on long-term injury. Shot taken from well out off the end board, swept along by Saros. Carrier moved out. Just about 17 minutes gone in the second period. Game number two in the history of the Seattle Kraken. Larson caught by Saros. He'll handle it loosely. McCann moves it in. Everly taken down. They play on. Everly gets to it. Corralled a bit by Schwartz. He gets back up. Yossi is dogging him. Schwartz smartly all the way around. A pinch. Moving in Susie, shouldered by Johansson. Left and back of the goal. Schwartz, diligent, belligerent along the boards. He's got it. He'll cycle high. Lay it back, Giordano. His shot caught again by UC Saros. 2.23 left late in the second period. Good night for the Kraken so far in Music City. Eagle Shoot Casino, the biggest and best in the Northwest by your local Ford dealer, home of the F-150, America's best-selling truck for 44 years, and by Jack in the Box. Try the new Cluck Sandwich Combos only at Jack in the Box. Beautiful night, a hot day here in Nashville. JT and I were exhausted after walking around today, about 85 degrees, that's too much for us. A little warm, good thing it was only about a block and a half. Yeah, but still with the suits on, suits, right? Yes, that's yeah. never good. Earlier in the day, not bad for morning skate. What about Alex Barre Boule in his Kraken debut tonight? He's looked really good so far. He's already shown some of that offensive ability that he has, drawing a penalty, setting up the Wenberg goal as well. There's a lot to look forward from this young guy. Crafty with the puck. Sometimes, as you know, you just need a chance, right? Somebody has to believe in you. When you claim a player on waivers, that's a fact. They do. And the Kraken were th in the third in the order, right? Some fans have asked about that. Buffalo, first opportunity. Anaheim and Seattle went third in the pecking order. 
It's what happens when players are exposed. And today, Washington picked up Dennis Chalotsky off waivers from the Kraken. They will add him to their NHL roster. They get off to a great start with a 5-1 win at home last night over the Rangers. Shot taken. Grubauer says no and hangs on. With the Preds knocking on the door, Ekholm let it fly from the point. Grubauer did a really good job fighting through traffic on this one. It's a good shot in front, but look at all the bodies that are standing in front of him on the way to the net. Right here, no rebound. So it looks around a little bit but covers up right away. Philip Forsberg isn't able to get anything coming in late. The focus of Philip Grubauer, German-born goaltender. We have not seen Nashville's Cody Glass in a while. He could be in the Predators' locker room, and we'll see if we get word on that. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. That's okay. We carry on. Off the draw. Larson in control. Out to center. A hand pass will stop play with a buck 49 left here in the second period. The official Kraken Plus Climate Pledge Arena mobile app is here. Manage your tickets, generate free public transit passion, passes rather to Kraken games, reserve parking, and get live updates throughout each game. Search Kraken Plus Climate Pledge Arena in your app store today. Puck is available at center ice, knocked down, Granlin broken up, Alexiak to the wall, and the Predators circle back and get to it, just about 90 seconds left here in the second period. 3-2 Seattle, looking for their first win. Now Alexiak lays it off the end boards, Roman Yossi, forecheck by Donato, then Geeky, here's Luke Cunnan. He'll sing it out to center ice. Good stick by Larson, but it's carried in by Granlin. Grubauer puts it on a tee for Adam Larson. 67 seconds left here in the second period. Out in front, Donato cleans it up for Jordan Everly, the former New York Islander. It was outstanding in the Stanley Cup playoffs for them a season ago. Adam Larson out to center, where it's knocked down. And Forsberg. Hands it right to Matt Duchesne in the skates of Forsberg. 43 seconds left here in the second. Schwartz, self pass. He'll hustle in. Ekholm cutting across for Nashville. Eberly taken down in a hard way. He's slow to get up. He was checked by Phil Myers. And JT will see what happens here. That's very similar to the play earlier, the cross check on Larson in front. He shoves him into the boards, seeing the numbers. That could have very well easily been a call and probably should have been. Jordan appears to be A-OK -okay as he's back up. See there, he's off to the Kraken bench. 32 and a fraction left. Late stages of the second period. Exciting game. We had an exciting game Tuesday night in Las Vegas. Stay connected for Kraken Intermission presented by Verizon. Coming up next, Alex Wenberg. Right now is the difference-making goal. I'll be talking things over with Jen Mueller. Lays it out through center ice. 15 seconds left in the second period. Back home. Jeremy Lozon will settle the puck down for Vince Dunn safely off the glass. Six seconds left. 25 shots for Seattle. 17 for Nashville. And the Kraken on a goal by Alex Wenberg have a 3-2 lead after 40 minutes here in Music City. Well, the Kraken in position for victory. That's where you want to be. Grubauer has been stellar in goal, doing his thing. Wenberg completes a beautiful play. It's Seattle three, Nashville two. Six City, as we get set on a beautiful night for the third period, the Seattle Kraken looking for their first win, have a 3-2 lead over the Nashville Predators. Xfinity, powerful connection, a powerful power play, Mr. Brown. 
right now they're keeping it simple on the power play. It's just getting pucks to the net, nothing fancy. In the preseason, we saw a lot of crossing plays, but right now the simple approach is working. Jared McCann, Brandon Tanev, Alex Wenberg has the difference-making goal right now. Finishing off a beautiful play set up by Alex Barre Boulay playing his first game as a Seattle Kraken claimed on waivers just a couple of days ago by general manager Ron Francis. There he is. Side by each, as they say, with Matt Duchesne. Some would say side by side, JT. Off the draw, we start this third period. From Bridgestone Arena, John Forsland and JT Brown, Philip Grubauer, who's been solid tonight for Adam Larson. Jonas Donskoy through the center zone, rejected by Nashville's Alexander Carrier. And Matt Duchesne will send it in. Grubauer a handle. Larson moves it. Read by Ryan Johansson. Gloved down by Adam Larson. Corralled by Duchesne. He had it. He lost it. Roman Yossi who scored tonight. Tied up by Jonas Donskoy. And the Kraken will jump on it. Oleksiak off a stick by Winberg. And on UC Soros, he'll melt it down. Now we'll take a look at the numbers after 40 minutes, the shots, the scoring chances. Dominated by Seattle. We talked about the power play and how good that has been tonight. Hits have been close. And Nashville has a slight edge in the faceoff circle. And Mr. Wenberg has a two-point night. Jared McCann, Jordan Everly, and Jaden Schwartz will come out for Dave Haxtall and the Kraken. Carson Soucy and Mark Giordano stationed on defense. Seattle had an excellent practice in Las Vegas yesterday before jetting here about three hours. Crashing through the time zone. And it's on to Columbus on Saturday. Now Giordano. To the outside, off a defensive stick, off Roman Yossi. We'll move it by McCann, located by Philip Forsberg. Will sweep check by Everly on him. Now a reset for Nashville. Through the center zone, Ellie Tolvanen, who started the scoring way back when, early in the first period, lays it in crack and ice. Laid out, held in by Tolvanen, regained by Giordano. He'll take it back. Susie under duress, gets help from McCann. He'll sail it by Schwartz, and it comes back out. Myers, when we get by Granlund, Carson Soucy moved along the wall. The Kraken pop it out. Giordano in a battle with Luke Cunning. You see it come back in the Kraken zone. Tolvin in on his opposite number. Soucy, and now Brandon Tanev through center. Ice cut in half nicely by Colton Sissons on him. Eckholm awaiting his Tolvin in, in front of his own bench. He's back checked by Tanev and now Lozon stretches out the ice. Ryan Donato gets to it. Shouldered by Trennan. He'll dump it in. Soros moves it. And a breakout reestablished here by Ben Harper, the veteran. Out to center ice. Cross corner dump in. The Predators go to work on the four check. The Kraken, Mason Appleton, lays it along. Choked off a bit by Fabro. Riley Sheehan with help from Appleton back in the Predators zone. And Dante Fabro sends it right back in the Seattle end for icing. Show your cracking colors with the latest team gear now available online at SeattleHockeyTeamStore.com. Official team jerseys, sweatshirts, hats, tees, and more. Gear up today at SeattleHockeyTeamStore.com. They're setting up for a nice little shooter play with how good Wenberg's been on the draw. They're looking for Donskoy right off the draw here. We saw that fan part of the record setting jersey launch. Seattle Kraken, they've shattered all the records that way. For the merch, for the new team. The NHL's 32nd. Donskoy. Just to make it happen off a turnover, it goes deep. Fabro, it's help from Sissons, now Harper. For Yakov Trenin with Tanner Janot. Heavy line comes out here. Icing is called. The Predators don't like it. The fans comply, but the faceoff comes back in Nashville ice. Real good opportunity. Now Nashville cannot change their line. You see Seattle is going with that top line, McCann's line, to come out for the offensive zone faceoff. 
And that's the key on an icing. The team that ices the puck that sends it from their half of center all the way down without a deflection or any attention paid to it. You cannot change your body. So usually the players are fatigued. The other team can change. And that's what JT was pointing out. Now Trennan back out. This is Susie D to D with Giordano, the captain. On and off the stick of Jordan Everly. He'll hunt it down. Everly in control. Giordano at the point. Looks for Elaine. A screenshot is blocked. Walked by Nick Cousins, who lays it back out to the center zone with just about three minutes gone in period three. A one-goal lead for Seattle. It's cleared in. First of three meetings between these two. Now it's moved along. We talked about Nashville's Cody Glass. He's back on their bench. We talked about that in the second period of steal. Cousins has control. He's back out. Over the line, Luke Cunning. Pass rejected by Jaden Schwartz. Slows on. Under pressure. Storming in Granlin. Cunning all the way around along the dasher and back. Roman Yossi. Cross ice. On and off the stick of Granlin. Carrier moves in, giving a shove out of the corner. Alexander Carrier in control. Cycling high on Schwartz. It goes by Granlin. Now moving in is Roman Yossi. Covering at the point, Cousins. A shot canceled by Schwartz. He'll stay true on it. Comes deep again, knocked down by Dunn. He lost the battle. More pressure from Nashville. Carrier checked hard by Schwartz. Here's Granlin. He'll dance a bit on Dunn. Out of the corner in the slot. Shot taken is shielded. And it goes out of play. A good bid for Nick Cousins. It's a really good look, and it was a good shift for Nashville there. They had an extended shift in Seattle zone. They kept getting the offensive pressure right here. You see Cousins find the soft area. Shot right up and over. Grubauer makes a good save. But again, we talked about it, John, earlier about the either being too passive or being too aggressive. Right now it's on the shade of the passive side for Seattle. Looks like it might have gone off his mask off of Grubauer. Now off the draw. Paddle down Grubauer. He has the follow-up. He's ready to take away the lower portion. He did. 15.55 left. 3-2 Seattle. Seattle needs to just get back into the rhythm. Keep rolling the lines. You knew, see, you knew that uh, Nashville was going to come out. They're going to play hard in this first part of the period. You weather that storm, but it's time to get back and start rolling the lines. Faceoff will stay put in the Kraken zone. Duchesne now at home. This way, Phil Myers with a shot blocked by Nathan Bastion. The Predators get to it. Duchesne to the corner. Moved along by Oleksiak. He gets support, but not out from Wenberg. Dancing Duchesne. Was off a couple of sticks. Held in by Myers with that long reach. Johansson in back of the goal off the back side of it to the corner. Na Nashville with pressure, and Seattle survives it as they get it out to center ice, and Adam Larson will send it in. Myers back first for the Preds. Now at home. Wall sealed by Wenberg. Myers has time to break it out. We approach the five-minute mark in this third period. Giordano. It's help from Appleton. Tolvanen for Nashville coming back. Checked on the play by Tanev. The Predators transition out Cody Glass. Across center, he'll dump it in. And back of the goal, Tolvanen is in first, sealed off by Tanev. He gets support from Mason Appleton. Here's Giordano to the wall. Goes by Fabro and back out. The Predators come back to it. They've had a lot of possession time here in the third period. Tomasino, Philip Tomasino, the rookie. First NHL game. First round pick to the corner. Finished off by Lausanne. Out in front, good back check by Donato. Seattle gets out of dodge. They get it out to center. Now Fabro goes across. 14-20 left. Regulation time. Trennan shied away from a hit, got it back, but Sissons was offside. Hey, saw that Bastion coming in, trying to take a nice little run, get a little energy for Seattle. And here we go with Lozon. Loves playing physical. You have a good, solid body check, and then goes in and helps out Dunn as well on the puck carrier. Equipment staff getting a workout here. Again, the unsung heroes we talked about. Jeff Camilio in the 15 seasons here in Nashville is honored in the first period. That was great to see. Along the boards, it pops back out to center ice. Rimmed in by Carrier all the way around. Tanev coming back for the Kraken. Oleksiak 
Now Brandon Tanev will start his engine. He'll lug it out. He has scored tonight. He's hit hard. Big hit by Sissons on Tanev. Oleksiak swings it across for Adam Larson. He'll send it in. Seattle will change. Shots 25, Kraken. 20, Nashville out of the corner. Roman Yossi has control. The Nashville captain who has scored tonight. Lays it along for Granlin. The roadblock was Susie for Seattle. Cleared around to the point. Myers off a stick. Blocked in front by Susie. He'll punch it out. And Myers takes over again. This way outside the line. Nick Cousins. A steer in. Susie readies in the corner. Cunning is there. They jam. Out of the scrum. Open ice. Riley Shane. Laid out to center by Everly. Schwartz. Shane overskated. Now Giordano with patience will delay Nashville is changing so is Seattle John and JT here at Bridgestone Arena our first game of so many on Root Sports now Johansson will dump it in Oleksiak to the outside scooped ahead by Larson not out Ryan Johansson gave it away to Larson Larson pawed down by Ekholm he's peppered by Donskoy good play there Wenberg now Barre Boulay off the end boards, a foot race. He can't win it. Myers got back. Forsberg off a defensive stick off Wenberg and right back in the Nashville zone. 12-22 left in regulation time. Echo. Circle back. Quick changes on both sides. Fresh bodies come out. Echo looks it over. The crowd implores him. It goes by glass. Moved along by Shan. Appleton at the line. It's offside. We'll step aside. 12.03 left in regulation time. It has been physical all night long. Tanev can dish it out. He has a ticket here from Sissons. New to the big game at SoFi Stadium. Win two tickets plus $5,000 cash. Visit the EQC mobile app for details. By Virginia Mason Franciscan Health, the official medical care provider for your Seattle Kraken. Make a play for your health at vmfh.org. And by Symmetra Life Insurance, first founding partner of the Seattle Kraken and your teammate for whatever lies ahead. 12.03 lies ahead here at Bridgestone Arena in terms of regulation time. John and JT back with you. We'll be your friends all season long. Out of the corner. Forsberg occupied by Dunn. Yossi with a shot block. The follow up goes high. Good stick by Schwartz. Carrier had the chance. The Predators have some energy on their side. Down by one, their home opener. Season opener for them. Game number two for the cracking. Down low, Dunn, surviving the four checking of Granlin. Vince Dunn lays it out to center. An available puck settled down by Jordan Eberle. Now Jeremy Lozon. Wenberg. His goal, the difference right now. Scored in the second period. Goes off Wenberg, it comes back. Ben Harper moves it. Cunning not out. Larson at the point for Seattle, sends it in. Getting to it, Jonas Donskoy, he'll cycle high. Deal it back for Alexiak, and now going wide, Larson. Shot rubbed out by Cousins. Nick Cousins through the center zone. It'll make it all the way down, icing against Nashville. Seattle's been playing a lot in their defensive zone, but it's been good defensive play just like this one with the block shot right here by Everlay. Schwartz tips it out. It ends up going right on to the stick of Carrier but it's the block shot and then Schwartz being in the right position on the second attempt. And a break for the veteran, Everly on the bench. Geeky, Tanev, Donato come out for Seattle. Oleksiak and Larson on the back end and now Ben Harper out to center ice. Larson with poise, plays it along for Donato, hit hard by Harper, comes deep. Geeky gets after it, survives it. Tries to win the battle away from Dante Fabro. Good grinding by Morgan Geeky. Geeky spins off Sissons. And Sissons gets the puck. And here come the Preds through the center right zone. A foot race. Trennan and Oleksiak. Relays the body on Jakob Trennan, who has the puck. 
Low to high. Fabro goes across. Ekholm with a shot. Goes off the traffic out in front. Comes back out to center ice. Just about halfway through the third period. Seattle with a one goal lead. Ekholm lays it in back of the goal. Here comes Dante Fabro. Play it all the way around. Top of your screen. Ekholm leaves it for Trennan. Shot blocked by Larson. It goes high. It deflects out of play. And we get a stoppage. Under 10 minutes left in regulation time. The Kraken looking for win number one. Have a one goal lead. the game this is a dandy from Philip Grubauer. Grubauer's had a lot of saves so far but none better than that one right in the slot Janot all alone and a quick reflex with the blocker to push that one aside. Outstanding goaltending from Philip Grubauer. Take a look at his line. Signed as an unrestricted free agent ex of Colorado. Off the draw Myers moves it across. He gets it back from Ekholm to the outside, fanned on by Tomasino, the rookie, in his first game, and it comes out to center ice. 9.40 left. Icing is called against Seattle. JT, every faceoff important. Every faceoff is important, especially at this point in the game. You have half of a period left. You have a one-goal lead. These are hard games to let alone win, but also defend the lead. What's important when you have a one-goal lead in terms of making sure you're not just sitting on it? You want to keep the foot on the gas. You want to be able to get in on the forecheck. Don't, you don't want to be over aggressive. You want to have a good F3 in a high position just in case, but you still have to be aggressive to a point. I like that F3. We're going to have to explain that as we move forward. Forsberg moves it across. Duchesne taken care of by Giordano, who's been a rock again on the back end, anchoring that defense. It comes all the way down, icing against Seattle. 9.09 left in regulation time. Limited Pittsburgh, uh, pitch book, I should say, premium suites are still available for select Kraken games. Live the sweet life. Visit NHL.com slash Kraken slash tickets for more info. Nine oh nine left. Face off as we see it in the Seattle zone. Face off is one back for Susie, played by Duchesne. Moved along. Offside are the Predators with nine oh three left. So far, they've been playing a lot of the game in the defensive zone. Well, yeah. an easy way to stop them from doing that's be in the offensive zone they need to find a way short passes through the neutral zone to get pucks in behind Nashville's defense so they can have extended time in Nashville's defensive zone puck is dropped by the rookie linesman CJ Murray this is first game here tonight native of Pittsburgh that one deflects in the screen played NCAA division three hockey and gets his chance here tonight so the Kraken Mason Appleton and his mates in protect mode right now with 8.53 on the clock, and that's a lot of time. It's too much time. That's where you got to put the foot back on the gas. Off the draw now. Roman Yossi will send it all the way back in. Alexiak out of the corner, moved along. Engulfed out of the zone by Appleton. It's another icing. And it'll come all the way back. Third consecutive icing against the Kraken. So here's the road trip that leads to the great night on the 23rd. So from here, it's Columbus, 3.30. Our coverage starts on Root Sports on Saturday, then Philadelphia, then New Jersey, then home. The Vancouver Canucks, Saturday, October 23, at Climate Pledge Arena. Off the faceoff, Grubauer leaves it there for Adam Larson. Cousins out in front. Fanned on by Luke Cunning. Alexiak will take it back. Cousins will knock it down. And now Alexiak out to center ice for Appleton. The Preds have it in the person of Roman Yossi. They cross on side. Granlin will drag on Larson. No quarter given. Larson goes to work on Mikhail Granlin. Out of the scrum as we see it up close. A force. 
by Myers goes deep to the corner. Predators jump on it. Grandland again. Tomasino back to the point. Myers swings it across. It's Yossi. He'll dance at the line. Tomasino, a winding shot blocked in front by Jeremy Lozon. McCracken survive it and get it out. 7.45 left in regulation time. Seattle with a 3-2 lead. Out to center ice. Cody Glass moves it back. Phil Myers, not deep enough. Broken up by Vince Dunn. Eberly off the boards. A lead pass for Ryan Donato. Myers gets there. Predators in control. Back out to the center zone. Soccer styled by Dunn. Grubauer, a handle. Goes on. Tries to steer it by Tomasino, who knocked it down. He's back out to neutral ice. Myers will spin it right back in the Seattle zone. As we approach the 13-minute mark in this third period. Goes on. Tanev. Seattle changes. They get it deep. Dante Fabro. With the center ice area, Ekholm swept along. It's Forsberg denied by Susi. Covering up. Good defensive play by Wenberg. McCracken get it out. Bastion moves it along. Delayed offside against Seattle. They clear the line. They tag up. They'll play on. They do now. Through center. Now Fabro will gain the red line. He'll scale it all the way around for Forsberg. Shadowed by Susi. He'll circle the track. Philip Forsberg holding on to it. Moved off for Ryan Johansson. This way it's Yossi. He'll settle it down. Looks for a lane. It's tipped just wide. Johansson jamming in front was Forsberg two. And now Giordano for Seattle. Chipped out of the zone by Nathan Bastion. And it comes down to Saros. 6.03 left. Carrier feeds it in. Oleksiak is on his horse. Four checked by Sissons. They go to the corner. It rolls around again. Look out. Appleton plays it off the glass and out. Golfed along by Tanev. Looking back at it. A good look there at Yakov Trenin. Comes back out to center. Adam Larson feeds it in under six minutes left. Anxious moments here in Music City out to center. Played off the boards and deep by Trenin. Oleksiak turns away from the pressure. Turns it over to Myers. Myers advancing down the wall. Moved in. Larson tough on it. Janot gets to it. He's wrestled up against the boards by Oleksiak. Trennan low to high. Myers slap shot off the boards. Now Ekholm plays it in. Trennan out of the corner. Right through the blue and out and all the way back for Ekholm. He'll delay. Phil Myers thinks about it. To the outside, turning is Trennan. Calling for it, Sissons wide. Through a screen, Grubauer fishing for it. Trennan stopped by Grubauer. Philip Grubauer comes up large. It comes all the way back down. Icing is called here. You have to remember that save by Philip Grubauer. It was an excellent one. He had to come up huge for Seattle on that save. You get a shot that gets blocked. It gets thrown right back out to the front. Trennan right in the doorstep, right at the hash marks, gets the shot off. Grubauer there to say no. Wow. Composed. Perfect. Capital N. Shot taken. Deflects. It goes out of play. Four minutes, 43 seconds left in regulation time. The Seattle Kraken with a one goal lead right here in Music City. Perfect ending, and Philip Grubauer is doing his part. Grubauer has definitely been put to work here in this third period, but this was a great save on Trennan right in the high slot, a high danger area, and Grubauer stops it, shuts the door, and we still have a 3-2 lead for Seattle. His line again. We take a look at the numbers. Under five minutes left in regulation time. Alex Wenberg will take the draw for Seattle, opposed by Mikhail Granlund. Wenberg wins it. Oleksiak has it to the wall, out to neutral ice. Drawn back by Roman Yossi. Moved along. Nice retrieval. Granlin to the slot. Punched deep by Cunning. Granlin hit hard by Larson. Bastion out of the corner for the Kraken. Played along the boards. It's Yossi. Occupied a bit by Wenberg and then Donskoy. And the Kraken get it out. 
The OC right back. Granlund at the line. Nashville is offside. They're surviving right now. There's only four minutes and 15 seconds left, and Seattle still doesn't have that first shot on net. This is a situation where they're bending and haven't broken, but you'd like to see them get a little bit more time in the offensive zone. Yeah, shots are 5-0 in favor of Nashville in this period. Off the draw, Myers. Dead center, Forsberg. Good stick at the line by Everly, but it's carried in. Back home from the D, off a stick out in front, a chance! Grubauer got a cross on Duchesne, and now Myers moved in. Giordano lifting the stick of Duchesne. Carson Soucy moves it off the stick of Jordan Everly. Myers leaves it there. Schwartz hustles in. Good job. Everly for Schwartz. The Predators have control. Forsberg laid along for jo Johansson. 3.35 left in regulation time, and now comes back. In the Nashville zone. Shots are 25 for Seattle. 23 taken by Nashville. This is Dante Fabro. To the center right zone, Tomasino with a shot, scissoring out again, Grubauer. Geeky hard on it. Philip Tomasino out in front. Grubauer with a save off Tolvanen. Oh, bank that one. Glass with a shot denied again by Philip Grubauer. And he's proving again and again why he's one of the best goalies in the NHL. Here's a good look at the first shot that comes through. He's got great legs down low. He's able to kick the pucks out. You have another look. Shot from the wide angle. He just tips it in on net, but it's the reflexes to kick the puck out. He's played exceptional so far in this third period and throughout the game. Boy, has he ever. 3.06 left. Cody Glass, Wenberg, and Alex Wenberg draws it back. But the Predators look for possession. Out of that puck battle, it comes out. Dante Fabro getting back to it. Under three minutes left here at Bridgestone Arena. First of three meetings this season in the Western Conference between these two. And now, Tomasino for Glass. His shot was off a stick wide. Play to the wall, Tolvin and back again, Fabro. His shot is canceled by Nathan Bastian, who stays tough on the puck and rallies it back in the Predators zone. Cody Glass, Alexander Carrier, 227 left. We'll keep an eye on UC Soros. See when the hook comes out. Alexiak, Shane underneath it and out. He'll pop it out. Roman Yossi now will look it over. 213 left in regulation time. This is Alexander Carrier for Tanner Janot. He'll clear it in. Larson reads it for Seattle. He gets help from Schwartz. It goes by Carrier. He's inside the line. 157 left. Seattle's changing. So is Nashville. Saros looks for instructions. Here come the Preds. There goes Saros. Six skaters out. Johansson all the way back. It's Echo. He's muscled by Appleton. It's cleared along and out of the corner. Giordano met there. Susi gets help. It's McCann. He'll pop it out. Empty net situation. Tanev can't get it across. Appleton. Here come the Preds. Forsberg broken up. Tanev has the puck at dead center. A handoff for Appleton. Empty net. Just wide off a stick. McCann in front. Bullseye. It's Brandon Tanev with his second of the game. And Seattle has a two goal lead. It doesn't matter if you only have one shot so far in the period, if that one shot goes into the net. Thankfully, there's no goalie. It was empty net, easy goal for Tana, but it was a hard working shift to get the puck in. There was a good chance there by Appleton. Just misses. McCann gets in on the floor check, gets the puck, and finds Tana right in the slot. First ever empty net goal for the Seattle Kraken. More history. Tana, second of the game. McCann gets the helper. Jared McCann with a goal in the first period. 18.39 is the time. 121 on the clock. EQC scoring summary. There it is. There's the evidence as the patrons make their way to Broadway. And that's music 
to the ears of the Kraken and their fan base. Out to center. 115 left. 4-2 Seattle. Bastion muscled by Echo. Saros, as you see, back in goal. It comes back out to center ice. The Kraken move on to Columbus on Saturday. A five-game road trip to start the season. Alexiak in control. The season started in historic fashion on Tuesday night. The Kraken fell behind 3-0 to Vegas. Rallied back. Lost the game 4-3. to Were scored on first tonight. And it fought back. A shot taken. Grubauer. They score on the follow-up. Mikhail Granlin in the right place at the right time. Not over yet. 39.9 seconds left. Nashville is within one. Well, that makes things a lot more interesting for the last 40 seconds here. But Granlin shows great hands in front of the net. It's a pass that goes up. It's a shot pass. He sees Granlin. He's not trying to score. He's trying to get it down to Granlin in front. It's a tip. Granlin's able to finish his own rebound right in front. And now with 40 seconds left, it's back to nail biting time again. We're having a, a, real, left? a real tight game here. More anxiety for the coaching staff. Dave Haxtall, Jay Leach, Alexander Carrier, Philip Forsberg. They help out on the goal by Granlin. 19:21 is the time. A timeout is called here. High anxiety. Of course, and right now they're having their conversation. And I'm sure a lot of the talk is just to relax. You don't have to grip your stick too tight at this moment. There's 40 seconds left in the game. Everybody out there, they know exactly what they're supposed to do, but don't put the pressure on yourself here. Just go out and play. Nashville called the timeout. Each team gets one in hockey, that's it. Face off will be at center ice. 39 and a fraction left. Saros is back in goal. Johansson will be opposed by Wenberg on the draw. Face off win for Nashville. Roman Yossi goes across, 35 seconds left. Here's Forsberg, there goes Soros, turned out by Grubauer. A half minute left here in Music City. Schwartz gets it out. Brandlin coming all the way back. 23 seconds left. Final push for Nashville. Brandlin through the middle. He'll thread it in. Susie coming all the way back. Rims it. 14 seconds left. Yossi out to dead center. Has control. Johansson, a handoff for Duchesne. Shot angled wide. The rebound. Grubauer got it. Four seconds left. It's a scramble. It comes out to center ice. Fed a long block by Schwartz. That's Kraken hockey, baby. The Seattle Kraken have won their first game in the National Hockey League. It's a 4-3 win over the Nashville Predators. Well, that's one you're going to remember. Wow, what a moment and what a job by these guys, JT. Character, we talked about it in the pregame, and it was on full display again tonight. 100%. They got down right off the gate, but they battled. They took the lead, and now the third period may not have been their best, but there's times where you just have to find a way to win, and that's something we'll talk about all the time. This was one of those situations, and they got the job done. Regardless, it's a win. Saw Ron Francis, the general manager. What a great moment for the Seattle Kraken franchise. Brandon Tanev, a big part of it here. So that's the story from Bridgestone Arena. The first ever win in the history of the Seattle Kraken. What a night. Let's go back to the studios once again. Ross and Tom.